In 2022, the Mets were awesome. Edwin Diaz was the best closer in baseball, Max Scherzer was awesome as the Mets' ace, and Pete Alonso hit 40 home runs. About everything that could have gone right for the Mets went right. That's of course until the postseason where they were eliminated, but they didn't want them getting eliminated to be such a terrible thing for the organization. Instead, they realized that they were almost there to win, but they just needed more. So in 2023, they wanted to spend every dime that they possibly could out of Steve Cohen's wallet. So they brought in another superstar pitcher to go along with Scherzer, and that pitcher was Justin Verlander. He had just won a World Series with the Astros, and was hopefully going to be the final piece that they needed. As great as this was for them, they still made several other moves, like Japanese pitcher Kodai Senga joining the rotation, and to go along with a brand new bullpen. This team was going to go far in 2023 is at least what most people thought. But then, things just started to go the wrong way for New York. Edwin Diaz suffered a season-ending injury, celebrating a win in the World Baseball Classic before the season. Even with this awful loss, they believed that the bullpen would be okay with the additions that they had made. Well, they were wrong. They currently have the 21st ranked bullpen, so it failed and went back to bite them. The Mets manager, Buck Showalter, has been awful. Plus, the lineup outside of Pete Alonso decided that they forgot how to hit a down-the-middle fastball. This resulted in Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander being dealt at the trade deadline, something that simply no one could have ever predicted before the season began. Owner Steve Cohen and the rest of the Mets front office has embraced this rebuild that has started, even telling Max Scherzer that they don't plan on being competitive until around 2025 to 2026. So it's clear, their plan is to build a great farm system and get great doing that, which is risky, I will say, but I think it could work. It's a lot better than their last plan of just buying every player in free agency that they could possibly want. And with that being said, the Mets are on the verge of trading another superstar in this upcoming offseason. And not just one, maybe multiple. Recently, there was a report that came out saying that the Mets are going to be trading the top guy in their lineup, one of the best sluggers in the league, and Pete Alonso. Ultimately, I expected it would be coming soon. They've absolutely failed at extending Alonso, and his contract's about to expire. His time in Queens will be over very soon. The guy who hit 40 home runs in 2022, and currently in 2023 has 39 home runs, is going to be gone. Which, hear me out, I fully understand that you're embracing a rebuild, but this man should have and should be extended. Whether they were going to be competitive or not, he's the man to build around. He's a slugger that you won't be able to get back, no matter how much that you build up that farm system. There will not be another Alonzo. The other superstar that I believe that could be traded is closer Edwin Diaz. He was extended last offseason, but suffered a season-ending injury before the season even began. Therefore, his value in the trade market is pretty much diminished, regardless of what he showed in 2022. The injury hurts his stock bad. Therefore, I think he could be actually a guy that you see dealt at the 2024 deadline rather than the offseason. Which, if you see Alonso get traded, then what's the reason for even keeping Edwin Diaz? The answer is, is that there is none. The Mets farm system is actually currently ranked at number 11 by MLB Pipeline. I believe if you did trade Alonso and Diaz, your farms are going to be jumping up into the top 5. That's the best thing that the Mets have going for them. Now what's your thought on Alonso likely being traded, or maybe even Edwin Diaz being traded in the future? I really think that this is a super interesting discussion based on the state of the Mets right now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.